What's up YouTube? This is Random Nation coming at you real quick with my first drone footage. Um, this drone is a Venom live drone. Um, you're supposed to be able to go live with it. I haven't figured out exactly how, but then again, I have a copyright, or not a copyright strike, but a strike against me on YouTube right now due to my video where I had a little fire in it. They said it was inappropriate for YouTube. Although there is a lot of other channels showing the same exact experiment on their channels and it's perfectly fine for them so i have contacted youtube and i have wrote and complained and complained and complained and since they're not wanting to give me my video back i have been reporting the other videos because you know if mine can't be there theirs can't either because that's how life works you cannot put one person down for one thing and then let everybody else do the same thing um, but this drone is really cool. I love this drone. It's not the best drone. It's not the best video. I did have to slow the video down, you know, to where y'all could see the scenery a little bit because it is pretty jittery. Um, and you'll see there's some spots where the lo drone loses video connection for a couple of seconds. And then, of course, I did some editing as well um, to remove, you know, tag numbers, stuff like that. Um, but this over here that you're seeing to the right, which you're going to see quite a bit of this in a second, um, this is actually the apartment complexes that are probably maybe a quarter of a mile behind my house. Um, they're a very beautiful complex and everything, and they're really sweet. This is actually a farmhouse that we just passed right here on the left. Um, he doesn't have any horses over there today, but sometimes he usually does. I was thinking about one day taking the drone over there while he has the horses and actually fly over and, you know, see the horses and stuff. Um, but this drone was so high up there that I could not see it with my naked eye. I had to literally bring it back down a good hundred feet to be able to see what I was even looking at. And the reason why I'm pointing in this one general direction is I was afraid to turn the drone because if you turn it and then accidentally bump it to go forward, there's no telling where it's going to end up going. And if you can't see it up there, then you definitely don't want it just taken off through the air. And that plus when the battery goes dead, there is um, it has a fault in this drone, which I really hate. If the battery is starting to go dead, it has these moments where it'll act up and just kind of decide that it wants to take off and go and straight up or straight out or it wants to go in its own little directions for a moment so you don't want to keep it up there when the battery's dead fortunately the um remote to it has a little L lcd screen on it that actually tells you you know how much battery life life you have left in it now the drone itself you can only fly it for about 15 minutes before the battery is too dead to keep it up in the air but honestly i've looked up a lot of the higher class drones and that's actually pretty good up there for a cheaper drone i paid about a hundred dollars for this drone it's very good i actually enjoy it for the price that i paid and you know i hope y'all enjoy the views um in a few seconds or in just a few minutes you're going to see where the drone will tip up and you'll be able to see the horizon where you can see the mountains off in the distance now the mountains here in alabama are not very big so it's not like you're looking at Mount Everest or anything, but there are mountains off in the distance. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the rest of the video. This is pretty much all I'm going to say throughout the video. I hope you all have a great day. This is Random Nation. I'm out of here. My wife is a beautiful, beautiful woman, and I had to add this in there. Um, we actually live on top of Mount Cheeha, which is the highest mountain in Alabama. It is 2,411 feet tall. And we're at the top. We're at the top, which is why it looks like it's pretty flat. Now, I think here, probably in the next couple of days, I might go to the lookout to where you can see how high it is and take the drone out there. And it, it'll it also give a lot better views and everything. So, y'all just be looking forward to some more drone video, guys. And y'all have a great day.